All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're going to be talking about how to get extensions or add-ons for Firefox that allow you to do different things like search for deals, check the weather, keep your browser safe with an ad blocker, all that sort of stuff. We're going to look at that here today, and all you got to do is search for Firefox add-ons. And then within the Firefox add-ons, we'll just pop into the first result, which is their official like add-on store page attached to Firefox's website. And you've got different options here. They kind of showcase some different ones like recommended extensions, which is everything from tab managers to portable dictionaries to weather, all that good stuff here. And really what I'm looking for is some of the ones that I had previously on Google Chrome. And that's things like the Gyazo screenshot plugin, which I would have figured they'd have one, but maybe not. Let's look on Gyazo. I mean, the logo pops up, so let's just add that extension to Firefox. And then I'll just say, okay, I'll sign into that later. And then what else am I looking for in the wide world of extensions? Do they have that honey extension? They do. I like this one because once in a blue moon, it actually like finds coupons for me to save me money on things like um, flowers. Because when I go out gardening and I want to buy like a bunch of bulbs for lilies, some of the different stores that you buy from like Europe, have like really old school websites that never turn off any of their coupons. So you can like run one of these extensions to run a bunch of different coupons and save like 50 bucks, which is a lot. So what else is kind of floating our goat as far as like unique functionality concerned? Cause you've got all kinds here. This is one I used to have a million different years ago called video download helper that would allow you to download flash videos off of different websites. Um, cookie auto delete, duck, duck, go. Nothing that like really tripping my trigger as far as like stuff I really want to have built into my browser. Because when I imported stuff to Firefox from Google, a bunch of stuff came with it. Like my last pass came with, um, I don't really need this one. Let me remove you. Because that doesn't really do anything anymore. Uh, momentum is fun just because it gives you like a calm, relaxing login page and you can input your name and what your current like objective and tasks are that you have to do for the day. And it's like a relaxing task list and all that good stuff. Um, but I'm kind of looking for, you know, let's, let's look up weather. Let's look up weather. If I, let's just go to the main page. Let's look up weather and see what results we get in the main page. So let's just grab this weather extension here because I always need to know the weather because I have horses in real life and knowing when to bring them in for the afternoon so they don't get hailed on or struck by lightning is sort of important. So now I can check the weather whenever I want and see what the current forecast is looking like, which is extremely useful Although I don't live in Denver, but I'll change that off screen because, well, no offense to you folks at home, but you don't need to know where I live. But so let's say you've gotten a bunch of these different extensions that you like and you've been using them and you're like, Larry, I don't really like some of these. How do I get rid of them? So you can go to settings and in the settings window, you can go to the bottom left hand corner and click on extensions and themes. Click on extensions and here is everything that's currently installed on my Firefox. And if any of this doesn't float my goat anymore, then I can just find it and I can either turn it off by toggling this and it'll go into my disabled list. Or if I don't want it anymore, like let's say I don't want this weather app anymore. I can just remove it, report it, or I can manage it. And it might just be as simple as I need to tweak some settings where I can allow it to run in private windows yes or no, allow automatic updates, that sort of a thing. But I just kind of want to remove it. So let's just remove it. Bing, bang, boom, it's done. 
And uh, yeah, we can just turn stuff on or off dynamically whenever we want. And it's really not that uh, that big of a deal. This one, I don't even know where this one came from. I don't remember having this on uh, on Google Chrome, but uh, having something to block all those obnoxious. Hey, my our website has cookies notification when all of the web has cookies is really nice. Uh, another way that you can get rid of different extensions that you may or may not want anymore is you can click on this little puzzle piece in the upper right hand corner of your browser. This is also another list of all of your extensions where you can click on these to remove them in this little pull down, or you can click on manage extensions, which will take you back to that page that I was just telling you about. So you have a bunch of different options. So that's a quick look at where you get different extensions from. You can get them also from different websites and services, not necessarily directly from Firefox themselves. So keep an eye out for useful extensions, but also be very careful because people can try to sneak in a virus or some nonsense with a fake extension. So always make sure that you are only downloading extensions from a source that you actually trust. So with that in mind, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.